Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com with the Sprint HTC One Max. Now we've already reviewed the uh, European version of this, so let's take a look at what's different here. Now, really cool, right out of the box, I like this. You got this big location privacy thing on the uh, protective plastic. That's good because I know everybody's all worried about privacy in the NSA and all that stuff. So yes, your phone can track you, by the way. So flipping things over, you see you have instructions there. Now pay attention to that, you're going to need them later. I'll show you why, right? I think you already know. So let's take the plastic off and actually take a better look at the phone. I'll tell you what, let's look in the box first because we all love unboxings and uh, yeah, usual stuff, right? Charger, cable, and your uh, instructions that you're not going to read. So let's put all that away and take a look at the phone. So guys, this is big, 5.9 inches, right? <laughs> it's really, really big. And uh, you know, out of the box, it's very sprinty. So uh, let's put it up next to the European version here. And you see physically they're the same, 5.9 inch displays, 1080p, uh, on the back you've got the same 16 megapixel camera and fingerprint sensor, we'll take another look at those in a minute, you've got the same contacts for charging if you use the uh, charging battery case thing that you can't actually buy yet, uh, but we've already taken a look at that. But let's go back to the Sprint one, because that's what we're here for. So. Again, it's got the fingerprint scanner, so it's asking immediately, do you want to use your fingerprint to secure the screen? We'll look at that in a minute, but we've also you know, seen it on the uh, European one. There's Blink Feed. There's your home screen. Blink Feed, home screen. So <laughs> unlike previous devices, we've got a lot of Sprint stuff out here. Uh, they had toned it back for a while, but Sprint apps are back in full force, and you see them again here in the uh, launcher as well. There's HTC's cool new uh, Scribble app, and you've got just stuff everywhere. Now, a lot of this is HTC's. A lot of it's Sprint, right? Sprint Zone. There's that Lumen toolbar. I'll show you that again in a second. We've got Sprint TV. Just all kinds of things going on here. Look out security. There's Scout for mapping, CBS Sports. So a whole bunch of apps front and center. Didn't always used to be like that. Here are all the uh, quick settings. HTC's done their way. In fact, while we're here, let's dive into the settings. And uh, how about we go to the storage first and see exactly what we have. So it's a 32 gigabyte device we have and about 7.11 gigabytes left. Software-wise, running Android 4.3 with Sense 5.5. That is the brand new Sense. Cool. And by the way, you'll have a software update available probably if you're just buying this thing. You're going to want that because it's new for LTE, and that's the Sprint Spark LTE. Super fast uh, LTE data in five cities and this really cool spinning icon thing. Look at it go. Um, so here's the uh, Lumen toolbar I mentioned. This is in the browser, so you can turn this off if you want. It offers you shortcuts. It also kind of tracks where you browse, and I'm not crazy about it. So I usually turn it off, so just FYI. Fingerprint scanner. We've talked about this before, but here's how it works. You tap the finger you want to set up, and you swipe it on the fingerprint scanner in the back, and it will unlock your phone. You can choose to use it or not. There it is. It's pretty. It works okay. I'm not totally crazy about it. So I mentioned those instructions on the uh, back of the plastic when we first took this out of the box. Here's why you need them, so you can get the back off the phone. And this is actually better than the uh, pre-production version I had. They've cleaned it up, everything fits the way it should. And that's important, so you can get back here at the SIM card and the micro SD card. So yes, it is expandable. So for those of you who really need that. Here it is next to the uh, original HTC One, and you can just see how huge the Max is. It's You have to really hold it to appreciate it. It's very, very big. So there you go, guys. A very quick look at the brand new HTC One Max on Sprint. We'll have a little more coming at you later. See ya.